we realized the impact he was having then, you know, when he first hit the scene. I was um, probably in high school uh, or college when I first heard Eruption, and it just blew us all away. We couldn't understand it. It, it wasn't just the tapping. It was the rock and roll attitude in in the guitar parts, you know, the, the, the bulletproof supreme rhythm playing where every note in a chord explodes and they're in tune and they sound amazing. It was in his, um, his tone, you know, the, the, the way that he presented, he heard it in his head that way. And he presented the guitar on a silver platter, you know, and this was all very different for us at the time. You know, we had big, heavy guitars and all that kind of thing, but nothing as free sounding and effervescent and intense and f free, but solid, you know, and expansive as Edward, you know. So we didn't know then because he hadn't written all the all the great songs that the band ended up writing which created their legacy you know uh but yeah it was a game changer i, I was going out on tour playing his guitar parts and i wanted to pay respect to them you know because the fans want to hear that <laughs> you know those his guitar parts are like completed orchestra arrangements in a way you know and they play so well. I mean, they're beautiful, beautiful guitar parts. And I wanted to get them as close as I could, you know. Of course, the solos and stuff, I, I just did my own thing. 